A magical landscape of peaks surrounds Zakopane in the high Tatra mountains. The icy temperatures and the clear mountain air make the region a favorite with lovers of winter sports. Around three million people visit Zakopane every year. The town is called Poland's winter capital. At its heart, Krupovki Street, lined with stores and restaurants, invites tourists to take a stroll. We come here every year. It's relaxing. You can stroll around. Other winter resorts don't have the atmosphere that they do here. I actually love the mountains in the summer, but I wanted to come and see them in the winter. And I'm bowled over. What a great feeling. It's wonderful. A pleasant way to view the cultural highlights of Zakopane is from a horse-drawn carriage. The typical architecture of the region is known as Zakopane style. The small wooden chalet-like houses feature high-pointed roofs, eaves, and decorations influenced by the Art Nouveau movement. One of the oldest buildings in the town is the Villa Coliba, built in the 1890s. Today, it houses a museum of regional architecture. Tradition is taken very seriously in Zakopane. The houses are made entirely of wood. No nails or screws were used. They're beautiful buildings made of natural wood. They're healthy and ecologically friendly houses. Zakopane is known throughout Europe as a sports venue. It regularly hosts skiing competitions. The mountain Kaprovsky Vierge is just under 2,000 meters high with a spectacular panoramic view of the area. A ride on the popular cable car reveals the wild landscape of the High Tatras. Back down on Krupovki Street, people are lining up to buy a local specialty, a zipek, a smoked cheese made from salted sheep's milk. The decorative shape is typical of the Tatras. The saleswoman explains how it's eaten in Zakopane. The smoked cheese is very aromatic. It tastes best on slices of bread, but you can fry it in a pan. On the outskirts of the town, local handicrafts are on offer. The artistic carvings are known throughout Poland and are on display in many churches and museums. Wood is the typical material of the region. It's part of our tradition. I use lots of wooden boards when I cook. Okay, you have to replace them fairly often, but it's a natural product, not some kind of plastic, like silicone. As night falls, the bars and restaurants on Krupovki Street are great places to warm up. One hot spot is Karchma, the Polish word for tavern. It offers not only hearty food, but folk music. It's the perfect place to experience authentic Polish hospitality. I come from the mountains. This is our life. <laughs> A lot of people come here for the music. And when it stops, the day ends here in Zakopane. But there's always the next day to look forward to, especially in the winter, with plenty of snow and fun on the slopes.